Welcome everybody to a special series of commentary on the original 999 Let's Dub series that we did so long ago that we're so far beyond. I'm Tyranny, and I'm being joined by these three awesome voice actors here. Hello, I'm Paco Slim. I play Junpei in the 999 Redub. Yay. Um, and I'm also being joined by... Yes, my name is Gildenkrantz, also go by Gildy. Uh, I was not in the 999 dub, nor in the redub, but I play Mia Fey in Trials and Tribulations, and will also be playing Monami in the upcoming Danganronpa 2 dub. She was Ryoko as well, wink wink, nudge nudge. Um, and James, of course. But who cares uh, about hi, James? I'm, I'm James just kidding. O'Burn. Uh, I'm James O'Byrne. I'm not in either of the dubs, but I beat the game yesterday. Yeah. And, um, I'm. I was Damien Tenma. I'm currently John in the uh, friggin' To the Moon series, and I'm a secret character in Ace Attorney that I won't spoil. Ah, good for you, James. You're a secret character, really? Shh. Mystery. We already know what it is, but I don't want to tell anybody. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. It's a secret for a reason. Let's not promote it right now, then. It's a secret to everyone. It is, it is. All right, so, um,. Obviously, this was one of the first Let's Dub episodes I ever did, uh, the second series I ever started, and God, we'll see by this episode that I really had no clue what I was doing when we started. <laughs> um, for well, example, yeah, there's an explosion in the first ten seconds. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is true. Uh, and plus, I, the sidebars piss me off because they take up too much of the screen. <laughs> A loud noise started. Oh, God, not awake. my voice. Make it and go away. <laughs> As I adjusted to the light, well, this sort of distract from your voice. Like, what I love about this game is that everything you see, every minor detail, is extremely important. It's really cool, like that. Yeah, um, that is good. I, I do like that about the 999 and Zero Escape series. Is everything is like something? There's nothing that's not there for a reason, really. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's how well written the story is, and I love it. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I can't handle the sound of my own voice. This is horrible. This is off to a terrible start. <laughs> oh my god! It's very like noir light, like a, a, like a really bad diet drink light. Yes. Uh, yeah. In, indeed. And um, I made I made the, the huge mistake at the beginning of the series of playing the narrator and the main character, which I really should have never done ever. <laughs> that could lead to a lot of overlap. And ever. It does. And it does. And it took somebody commenting on like the 34th episode saying, why do you do that? For me to say, meh, I guess I'll get somebody for the main character. <laughs> and this was back where it was still uh, kind of a pseudo let's dub, right? Well, or not let's dub, a let's play. play. Yes, 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 yes. This is... Uh, it basically, at this point in time, uh, I was still doing Let's Plays, and I figured, well, I mean, it, it was right after YouTube changed around, and I wasn't getting any views on my Let's Plays anymore, comparatively, and I was like, I need to do something different. So I started these Let's Dub things, because I saw a couple other YouTubers doing it, and I'm like, that's cool, I could do that too, and then I went and gathered up every, like, average Joe that could talk into a mic, <laughs> and threw them into Apollo Justice and 999. <laughs> Well, some of those, those average Joes are, are still around. Here. As suddenly as they begun, the tremor ceased. Well, a cold silence fell you are correct about the average Joes, some of the average Joes being around, but the ones that are still around aren't average Joes. Oh, I know. <laughs> they are except, awesome. Except, That's except why they're Dan. still around. That guy's amateur. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Dan. Dan didn't even come in until like a year in, but yeah. Oh, well, he was. I think Dan came in after the series was over. More antique Probably. Jeez. Um, three level bunk bed had mattresses oh god, my, my mic quality in this is like kind of painful as well because I have my gain up too high and the ambiance is kind of bad. Is there any background music actually happening or no? Uh, not at this point. Mm -hmm. Although um, in a lot of the earlier episodes, my um, game audio was pretty quiet because I never bothered to touch it after recording. What's this five mean? Suspicious and still utterly <clears throat> beginning of Junpei's questions. <laughs> it never <laughs> ends. Standing at last in front of the door. See, like, uh, what, going back to what I was saying before, like, even the opening shot of that cutscene of that boat is important. I won't spoil why, but it is. Mm. Oh. It is very important. It didn't matter. That is what's cool about 999. Hmm. And then they made a sequel that does not have 999 in the title and confused a lot of people that were fans of the first one. 
They didn't take a genius. <laughs> this is true, but the sequel was better. Way better. Um, I you would know, yeah, that, but of so course, no but yeah. <laughs> uh. Hey, hello? Is anyone there? Shitty reverb Open effect. Go. But maybe it works because he's on a boat, though. Hmm? He's on a boat, mother... What the hell is this? He wasn't really I'm sure on a boat. Take a look at me. <laughs> Five. Which is approximately how many stars out of ten this episode would get, or less. <laughs> Back when the YouTube rating system had stars. Oh, God. No, actually, this came out after that switched over, but... Mm -hmm. uh, God, I do remember those days. Oh, man, I feel old now. <laughs> yes, indeed. That seems like a long time ago. Yeah. No, what was that, like, back in, like, 2009? Uh, yeah, it's a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even believe 2009 was a while ago. That's a long time in internet <laughs> years, if you think about it. That watch is, like, really into his arm. He sighed and flipped I saw, like, bones sticking out. It's weird. Oh, no, that's part of the latch, but that would be funny, though. <laughs> like, oh, you sure? Zero oh. just, like, attached the watch to him by a bone on his Ooh. arm. He's when he got, like, it around, super definition like, on his arm there. Junpei is yeah. buff, apparently. Junpei's yeah. ripped. Yeah. Dude, he's, he's rocking that freaking flannel. I know. He's gotta work out if he has to escape this boat. Ah, it's no good. Yeah. You know, men who roll up their sleeve cuffs halfway are suddenly a thousand times sexier, according to Tumblr. I know, right? <laughs> There's a lot of things that are sexy, according to Tumblr, that are not actually sexy, though. Well, th this is correct. <laughs> 999 Tumblr version. <laughs> I do roll wonder if I... Things. I do wonder if I screw around a lot. I don't remember, but I think I screw around a lot in this episode because I'm really horrible at puzzles, as everybody knows. And why the hell am I here? Why? Why? It's a dog, Peter! What the hell happened to me? Oh my god, oh, my voice acting. Back. I, I love the inflection there. What the hell happened to me? Is this gonna be a let's roast Peter? Oh, uh, well, it might as well be. I mean, I'm basically 50% of this, or 60% of this dub for, for like three episodes. <laughs> Until well, he finally decided to put another Junpei in. We'll wait and see how long it takes it you to solve the moment. first puzzle here coming up. Oh snap, it's breaking! Oh snap! What the, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> I watched like the second episode of this old dub, and I noticed like a lot of the old voice actors. I don't think they're here anymore, right? Yeah, um, no. Not a lot of the original cast is here. Uh, Pink, LJ, and RC were the three that stayed stuck around, and Martin. But Martin wasn't yeah. in from the first episode. What the hell? Uh. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! Oops. My phone went off. I'm gonna. Oh. Bad. You can't do that during a recording. Go do that. Oh my god! I can't believe my voice acting in this episode. It's so awful. I don't know if that picked it up. Anyway. Come on! If you're there, say something. Hello. <laughs> if you're there, say something. Stop narrating. Jim Pay's kind of from Arkansas. There. Anyone there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to say anything. <laughs> you could say stuff. I don't care. This is like two years ago, me. So he's not gonna fire you yet. <laughs> that part, that part where you screamed was the best part, obviously. Find a way out. Fun fact: I actually solved this by just randomly guessing the numbers on the crates, crates or cases, whatever. Yeah, you can, but yeah, that takes a while. It's actually a fairly easy puzzle to solve, and for some reason, the first two times I played this game, I could not figure it out. Like I could figure out a lot of the later rooms, but not this one for some reason. I'm still unclear about how he found the numbers. But uh, screwdriver. Yeah. It's all about figuring out Not you as per in particular. I mean, in I general, here? about how to find uh, the numbers. Something in the pot. Give me that key. You, wait, you don't understand how to find the numbers on this puzzle? Like no, I do not. <laughs> oh, uh, well, it's because I did some clever, I did some editing in the Rito version that you voiced over, but, uh, basically the, uh, the notes you get that have the triangles on them correspond to, um, to numbers. Mm -hmm. On something else, I can't remember the other thing. I guess we'll probably see in the video, but it's um no, you get a sheet. It's on the back of the picture. It's like a little code chart, and those have the triangles that correspond to the the notes. So I don't know. It's a really simple puzzle, and I frankly I don't understand why I had so much trouble on it. <laughs> well, still, a lot of the puzzles in this game are pretty cerebral. I mean, you have to give them some honest to god thought. Oh yeah, you know, correlating the code with numbers like that. Here, what's over here? 
Mm. And gosh, it, it's been a, a couple of years since I watched it through, but I, I remember thinking, oh, I, I would never get any of these puzzles. <laughs> they have numbers and math <laughs> and critical thought. <laughs> critical thought. Um, yeah, no, that's true. Um, like the, Particularly the one I remember being really hard is the one in the kitchen where you have to open the oven and there's this big complicated math equation on how to do it. I never figured that one out. Yeah, <laughs> Really, guys, if you don't care about the puzzles, let me know, and, and I'll just skip them for time's sake and go straight and, and then that's when my commenters were like, no, don't skip the puzzles, and I'm like, fine. So <laughs> just going to waste time on them every episode. I'm going to be honest, for some puzzles, I looked up the answer. I'm ashamed of myself. It's okay. Some are hard. Like, I'm happy when I get a puzzle without looking up the answers. <laughs> walkthroughs are my friend. I love walkthroughs. <laughs> So I'm a lazy gamer. Walk through sure are godsend, aren't they? Jeez. You're one to talk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, Look at what they think. Come on, you had too much to drink last night. <laughs> Fuck, I have such a bad hangover. <laughs> oh my god. I've been awake for eight days. <laughs> you mean nine days? Nine, nine, nine days. <laughs> That's a lot of days. It's yes, a it lot is. of days. <laughs> That's like three years. Paco, <laughs> and I'm also your... hammered. <laughs> Paco, I loved your ad lib on that in the redub where you were like, man, I look like dinosaur shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel weird that that's the one you picked because that was, I think, the first one I did, and I was like, I have no idea how to ad lib. I'm just gonna say a thing. Well, you could have fooled me. You did pretty good in the first episode and the fourth one. So <laughs> isn't ad libbing basically just saying a thing? I, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, although it is an art, getting that one clever thing. Well, if you ever need help with ad libbing, just ask Ryan. He's pretty freaking good at it. Everything was as he'd left it. The magazine. <laughs> as you guys should know at this point. Yes, indeed he is. Yes. Oh yes, and for commenters who are not familiar with the name, Ryan is Actors Illusion, the guy who plays Edgeworth and uh, the main character in Presentable Liberty. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Um, but he's very good at ad libbing. I, if, if ever I need a heavy ad libbing role, I will definitely keep him in mind. That's <laughs> weird. I like Junpei because he's literally me. He's a college student and he wears flannels. <laughs> oh, man. This is true. Do you wear bracelets as well? Junpei wears bracelets. I have a watch. Am I going to die, Peter? Yes, if you can't take it off, I would be kind of wary of that. The entire reason uh, I was convinced to uh, audition for Junpei is because t someone said, Hey, look, you're a character. I was like, oh, don't, stop it. <laughs> oh, you do kind of look like Junpei. <laughs> Yeah, your hair is a bit Junpei-esque. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Junpei tried to scream, but all he could manage was a strangled croak. He tried to help him, but his yep. legs could no longer support his weight. Mm -hmm. I'm so monotone. God, why? Why did I think this was good back in the day? Are we getting gas? Ugh, standards, man. There's something you develop with time, Peter. It's fine. Yes, this is true. <laughs> I should be embarrassed of what I used to be, but I should also be happy that I have come way, way, way beyond that. It's important to recognize your failings. Yes. Well, Although this is hardly a failure, it's the good groundwork for what you have now. That, that is true, too. That is true as well. That is true. I had to start somewhere. Um, although, um, admittedly, I feel like the Apollo Justice Let's Dub started out way better than this one did. <laughs> Like, I could still look back on the first episode of Apollo Justice and say I had some decent voice actors in that, even though I don't like how I sound. But, <laughs> yeah. Is that an accent I detect? <laughs> Underneath the vocoder? Uh, I haven't a clue. All I know is that was, like, one of my first times ever using Pitch Changer. <laughs> God. And now I know better than to use it, and, um, yeah. Although, I, I did have to use it for, um, my zero effect in the, the redub, which, I mean, obviously it's supposed to be distorted, so... Frankly, my zero effect in the redub even sounds way better than that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kind of sounds like Saw. Can I point out that Junpei's clothes and really clash together? <laughs> You're telling me you don't wear a blue vest over red flannel? 
No. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure he bought that whole outfit for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Five dollars. You are going to participate in the game. Like seriously, if he took off that blue vest, he'd look a lot better. <laughs> that was kind of an accent. I could see it. I could hear it. it was so gross. God damn it! What the hell is an ordinary game? God damn it! Go! <laughs> Why do I look like dinosaur crap? The first time I did this puzzle, I thought I had a time limit. I thought I was going to drown if I didn't do it fast enough. I thought so too, actually. The game really makes you think that, but you're really not. No, there's no time limit for anything on these puzzles. No, there isn't. Freaking. <laughs> oh man, you're, you're ad-libbing. What's this yellow text that's making time freeze around me? Even the water stopped. <laughs> That, that really is some like, pretty frozen um, water coming in. It is, yeah. I really like that line he added in, you know, for when it says, uh, seek a way out. Oh, yeah, that is good. I really like that because it brought, like, a bit of life to that, like, really cool transition, and I like that. Yeah, and I think Paco uh, brings that across pretty well as well. Yeah. Aw, oh, shucks. Let's get out of this room. I just, I, I want a room where he just says something completely random and stupid when that comes up. Like, it just comes up and he's like, let's get out of here, I have to take a crap. <laughs> I bring back the dinosaur. Yeah. I tried to do something when they were in the casino. I don't know if you've listened to that yet. Uh, no, I haven't gotten to that. I've only okay. edited up episode four. But yeah, I, I, I do some puns i'm not proud of <laughs> one thing i love about this game is that if you click on something enough like some funny moments happen and they're actually really funny there's a lot of writing in this yeah like when you click on the bed enough a certain character is like do you want to sleep in it junpei and junpei's like no <laughs> oh man that uh i forget what room it is but there's like an awkward shower scene with junpei and june <laughs> <laughs> where they're just they're investigating the shower and they get all awkward to get with each other you know they're like june's like i've never been in the shower with a man before <laughs> uh, i uh, well that, that's that's for a different topic i mean that's for a different like i feel like it's too early in the series to talk about but, but, so never mind yeah no spoilers for people that haven't seen the original and honestly if you haven't seen the original you can just pass it up and watch the readout at this point <laughs> i mean yeah. some notable the episodes yourself, support the franchise some notable episodes to watch in the original will probably be the ending the very the last episode and the axe ending would probably be the only ones i would rewatch legitimately from the original without i did see the uh, ending and i did think that one was pretty good it was i mean even the ending we've gone way beyond the ending at this point but i mean just Judging by the, I mean, but based on the the overall quality of the rest of the series, the ending w was a great improvement. <laughs> I, I should have stuck around for that. I had watched, I think, the first two episodes of this original 999 dub right as I was sort of auditioning before I was uh, cast into the first project here. Um, and thinking, well, it, it's a good idea. Execution is, uh, well, I guess I'll audition. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you did, but yeah, no, um, I, I can say that I probably can't rewatch things from, um, over six months ago. <laughs> and this is way over six months ago, so that should give you an idea of how I feel about it, yes. It's not just six months ago, it's just last November. <laughs> yeah, so are you Wait, what was I doing in last November? Hold God, on, you're see. picky. Okay, the maybe, uh, case hold on. Two of, uh, <laughs> okay, well, okay, so maybe I'll say last, like, a year ago. I'll go with a year yeah. ago, then. That's understandable, because, like, a year ago, we were beyond, you know, 999 quality and everything, but I still hadn't gotten the pacing down of episodes, and there was all these awkward pauses and stuff. <laughs> Dan was helping editing, too, so that's good. Oh, yeah, that was nice, too. God, it's just gotten so much better. <sighs> to the door! To the door! Yay! herba derp I mean, in the sequel, the, um... These cards are the numbers, Wait, them. please tell me you have both sets of the blue, of the cards. I, I don't remember. Oh, I do. And yeah, the uh, the first puzzle in the sequel is much easier. I actually think the sequel is much questions. easier. Questions? Oh, but it's much better. Junpei asks the questions. Awesome. This is ridiculous. Very deep questions, such as, huh? It's not working. And what the hell? And goddamn it! All right. That's not a question. <laughs> And Junpei says that it is. Mm -hmm. I've only got one other hint. 
Of course, the files. The files. The flies. Digital root. Digital root. The digital Not the flies. The flies. They're in my eyes. Not the flies. I'm not really sure about this. Ah, whatever. It's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. Just slide the cards and give me the digital. I I'm just not even caring about the instructions at this point. Oh god, it's that yellow text again. I love how you reference the yellow text again in the first uh, the room after this. It's great. I, I did get to that part where you're like, it's following me through the floors. <laughs> oh man, the yellow text, it has to be a thing in this series. Uh, the more I see it, I'll try to remember. Can the yellow text be Patrick Warburton? Yes. Oh. So, I wish I would have thought of that, guys. No, it's okay. <laughs> like, go away, Patrick Warburton. Later. <laughs> no, Patrick, I don't want this. <laughs> you gotta use the cards, you gotta. <laughs> no, Patrick, no. <laughs> Nope. It's seven uh, six no, one. No, 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 no. Oh, how am I so bad at this? Past Peter doesn't know that yet. Um, oh my god! Fast it's Peter. freaking digital rude. Come <laughs> on, Past Peter. Past Peter, not <laughs> sure of math. Sorry. Okay, seven. Oh my god! Yes, so yes. James, you guessed. You're, you're doing it. <laughs> no, you freaking idiot! Oh, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Why? Bad. I should have put one in the bottom. It's Why was I this one. stupid two my years bad. ago? It's fine, you got there eventually. There we go. I, well, I sort of See, memorized it was 761 because I had to do this right, puzzle a million done. times. There we go, that's a new yeah. noise. Huh? Did it just unlock? Yes. No, well, no, it didn't. Red, now it's blue. For the record, the only reason I knew that is because the digital route is a recurring thing. I hate how you have to, like, this back out and then, like, click on the door. I wish if well, you solved the puzzle, it would just automatically blue. open. No doubt about it. Seriously, There's though. nothing keeping me in here now. That's, like, a very... That's a net, some huge nitpick, I mean, but it just bothers me. Yeah. Well, see, this is it's another thing that's pissing me off about my commentary, is I'll, 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 after I do something like that, I always have to explain myself. I'm like, just go. As you guys can see, I solved the puzzle, therefore I can go through the door. Oh, yeah. I remember when I was recording the first episode, I jokingly said a you found it in a weird feminine voice, and I accidentally left that in. I don't know if you even remember it, but after I, after I realized I sent that, I was like, oh no, so why? You found it! It's Vanna White, then. You solved it! It could be Patrick Warburton. Yes. You solved it, Joan Bay. Oh, you have a better Patrick Warburton than I do. Sneak away out. Followed him out of the room was rapidly closed <laughs> the door. Flew quickly down the hallway and slammed in the foot Got of the short flight of stairs. Sneak away out, bitch. And at the top of the Watch. short staircase. Okay. <laughs> A door. I, I a should door. have just had a had this and be a parody, the stairs, like have the read up be a parody a series and have the narration read by Patrick Warburton. <laughs> a door burst open Actual yeah. Patrick Warburton, not me doing Patrick Warburton, the Patrick Warburton. Yes, yes. We'll pull him up right away. Indeed. That'll so. be one of our Patreon goals: hire Patrick <laughs> Warburton. Well, have Patrick haven't Warburton. we hit that goal already? Because we just oh, cleared one hundred. We cleared. Oh. We're at one hundred and ten now on Patreon, which is awesome. Hey Patrick, oh God! Oh God! We're about to we're about to hear the original original nine 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 cat. And this is probably going to be as painful as my narration. Although it's going to be interesting seeing how far people like RC and LJ and them have come. Half of it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Junpei couldn't help but wonder. Junpei. Is he French? Yeah. Junpei. Yes, he was. I'm gonna get all my French fans are gonna help subscribe because of that. I'm French and I find this offensive. Yeah, that's I thought. This is totally a book. Yeah, well, wait, what the hell? Why did I randomly put Man, an echo on myself here? Said, what the hell, or what's going on? Because you're in a you shoe. It's the here. echo of the, the hallway. Oh, oh this was back when I was censoring myself, too. Ran towards the tremendous staircase God. But not censoring the video. No, but <laughs> I, I said crap instead of shit. <laughs> and earlier I didn't read the word bitch. <laughs> Well, you were reading plenty of goddammits. Yeah, or, I'm was. sorry. Goddammit! Goddammit! Uh, that was very yeah. Sandler-esque of you. <laughs> oh my god. He took the stairs to it at a time. I'm not entirely sure where he went. Oh, I need a Sandler, and I need a narration. The stairs did lead. 999, still are you good? Schneider. That's a lot of boobs. Yeah, that's like, I'm gonna be honest, that's like the first thing I saw. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or on the landing I mean, everyone else is dressed so modestly. That's just a picture that you could put online and say gay test. And on the right <laughs> oh my god, boobs! <laughs> All told, there were seven of them. It looked as though they had been on their way Hey, she's 18, it's not weird. <laughs> they stopped short when they saw Jinpei. Even though she does not look 18 I'm at all. I'm pretty sure Lotus is, like, 30-something like, oh, at least. 
I think she's 40, <laughs> actually. Same, of course, and now they still I was making fun of the knife, man. Oh, Seriously, I'm so that silly. geeky guy is, like, freaking out. <laughs> Junpei didn't move. No! Oh! Oh! This entire interaction lasted only a matter of seconds. The woman it's spoke Snake, to my waifu. Time began to move again. <laughs> Snake is everyone's waifu. Of us now. That is R.C. and her terrible original mic quality. The woman was dressed, Junpei thought, rather like a dancer. Actually, this is one thing that makes her that makes me upset. There's literally no reason why she's dressed like that, hey, you find out. you! Come on! Hurry! See that mic no quality though, it's so different. Ran straight past Junpei towards the doors behind him. Junpei. The sudden proximity oh god, you're about to hear the first ace. Dude, Junpei if you're watching, I'm sorry, but the first so the ace was terrible. <laughs> Here we go! The this is like, this is a guy who, even man. when we had standards like this. LJ. Oh, LJ. That would be uh, no, that's Troop actually playing Santa in this episode. One of us, huh? 10 out of 10. Yeah. Oh. No, but I'll say it after he talks. Soft wrinkles sprouted from his eyes, and he came close enough as he passed for Junpei to see wisps of gray in his hair. Shut up, me! His Gosh! Shock of passed for Junpei. Junpei as rather that of, like that of an elderly that lion. Going up won't do any good. Well, there are two doors, but neither of them will open. Oh yeah, I, I think forgot I actually these pitched nicknames. down his voice in that too. I hate to admit. Pink hair and a high voice. Um, red but me. yeah, no, that, that was a guy. Pink still sounds Aren't good. Are you coming? Yay! Gotta hurry. Everybody's still kind of monotone, but yeah. The um, the no, the original Ace, that was a guy that, His even though, even when we have these low standards, we still ended up recasting him a few episodes in because we didn't like him <laughs> as a voice actor. <laughs> oh, they're, I mean, Good on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they say your hair's pink. It looks red, doesn't it? Oh, He'd listen to the snake. This is pretty weird. Okay. Prince. That's not of the sun. All the gods are in hand. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, that guy was a butt munch, wondered. and that's all I'm going to say about him. <laughs> Aww, okay. that, that's fairly descriptive. Well, he's blacklisted, so I don't really care at this point. The guy was a butt munch. Anyway, Maybe I'll talk about it in a later episode. Anyway. Maybe I'll talk about it in a later episode, because we're coming towards the end of this one. Uh, which brings us right, yeah. to our little extra session of this. Uh, well, first of all, what did you guys think of the first episode? I don't even know if I should ask. I don't know, Peter. I don't know why you're redubbing this. I mean, it's, it's like perfect. <laughs> uh, um, it happened. Needs more Patrick Warburton. Uh, I agree. I'm I'm happy I didn't get turned off by this the first time I watched it. But yeah, come you've come such a long way. Well, the whole yeah, project, the whole entire project has come a long way, though. But um, wow, it that is like freaking night and day, man. That episode. <laughs> No kidding. Well, I mean, like I said, it was one of the first episodes I put out. So, of course, if it wasn't night and day after all this time, I would worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like night 500 years from now and day. Yeah. And like, in fact, like how many subs did you have when you did that? Uh, I think probably 2K, I'm assuming. And look, I, you I got like I almost 2K. 10 now. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Nearly a 10K. Yeah, and we got some special stuff Ooh. planned, hopefully, if I can get off my butt and do it. Um. <laughs> All right, comments time. <laughs> let's oh see. We got some. Let's see. We got some interesting comments on this really, really old episode here. Um, let's see. I, I pasted the link for you guys so you can see here. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's see. There's a guy that says, "What is the sequel?" Well, and that of course would be Virtue's Last Reward, which is better in every single way. Not in a bad way though. Like the first one's still awesome. Oh, it is. But Virtue's Last Reward was freaking amazing. Okay. Um, yes. What What do you guys see? Do you guys see any interesting comments here? Uh, um, oh, God damn it! Sure, I'm sure no one will hear you. Adam, but please. That's a good one. I'm not sure what it's saying, but yeah. There we go. Ran random Kirby Luigi. Thank you for your very <laughs> insightful comment. Look at Hohen's comment. Is that your voice? Nice. <laughs> Ooh, that's a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> no offense if you still watch my channel, dude, but that was a creepy comment. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally going to get like a crap load of people unsubscribing because I'm like reading these comments. What? Because he said one guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one guy. This uh, one guy actually made multiple channels to subscribe to you. Okay, wow. shout out to shout out to this Sean Locke guy because he's been watching my channel ever since I even started doing Let's Dubs. I see, yeah, since I've, I've seen, seen his, his name comment. around. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I see him in the comments all the time. Yeah, shout out to you, Sean Locke. Thanks for st sticking around, buddy. All right, Sean Locke. 
Yeah, let's round of applause. Yay. <laughs> um, he said he's rubbish at maths. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's like looking at this now and actually commenting. <laughs> I, I wonder. Well, I think, let's see. The last comment we got was from pff, 10 seconds ago. You. <laughs> God. Other than that, a year ago. Jeez. Man, that is one handsome mofo. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who else is in the comments that has been around for a while? Let's see here. Espresso Cat's been around for a while. Uh, let's see. Link Force's been around for a while. Shout out to you guys. McBrad still comments on videos. Uh, N- wow. Nojang, 1999, I see him comment on stuff sometimes. I haven't seen Conan in a while. Uh, sh- oh, God. And then there's a dude that plays Snake that's like, um, do you need my YouTube link? <laughs> or rather, in my, in my best impression of a Snake voice, do you need my YouTube link? <laughs> um, Don't skip puzzles. You can cut off. You get stuck. But sometimes they just have venturing dialogue behind them. Okay, that's just some random guy. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, Breed 2013, that wasn't a reference to a Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough I was doing where I was playing as a guy that looked like Brock from Pokemon. <laughs> uh, that that actually got a crap load of views. I was really surprised. It almost has 10,000 views right now, I think, the first episode of that. The creation of Brock! Yes. I think uh, it's because you mix Pokemon and Fire Emblem, it just exploded with views. Troop says, glad to be working on this project. What episode before his scroll gets passed on to somebody else? Poor Troop. Oh. Shout out to Troop. <laughs> so you need to know maths to do this game? Well, I would struggle with this game. I'm rubbish at maths. Yep. I, I got to... Something I find interesting is there's 28 comments, at least as I can see, and there's 28 comments on the Redub episode one. That's kind of interesting. Ooh. Oh. Wow, there's really That's a the conspiracy same at work. It's conspiracy Illuminati guys. confirmed. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. Well, thank you. know, 28 comments, two years. 28 comments, a couple of days. That's seriously such improvement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. I'm well, going like, to spam the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> Go forth, James. Yes. Do what uh, you got to do. Indeed. All right, Sweet. well, that'll conclude this episode of 999 Original Dub Let's Dub Commentary. Once again, I'm Tyranny, and... That's Paco, James, and Gildy. And uh, we will be continuing with, well, these three will be back for later episodes, but uh, every episode is going to have three different people in it. Um, maybe there might be a repeat person every now and then, but I'm trying to get some variety and get original dub members and new dub members alike in uh, with these commentaries. So, uh, as I used to say uh, when I did Let's, uh, Let's Plays, <laughs> rate, comment, subscribe, favorite. And see you guys on the next episode of 999 Original Let's Dub Commentary. Woo! Yay! Yay! I love you all. Ah. Good night. <laughs>